Hey, what's up guys? So we're here, uh, already loaded, just working on the tarp now. I gotta climb up here in a second and get it pulled out a little bit better. I put a lot more tarp on than I needed, but I decided to leave it on there just to be, give it added protection in case it rains. These tarps suck. Here, here's the crate. Pretty good size. So I have the tarp that you can see here in the front. That's my back tarp. And then uh, I got the flap is just crowning the top so I can get the sides pulled up and whatnot. And plus I gotta pull the tarp forward a little bit so that it's in the right position. It's freaking hot up there though. Up in the, uh, the rafters there. Um, they were telling me it was like 44,000 pounds. Freaking thing's only 15,000 pounds. 16,000 pounds technically. Um, It was 6,950 kilograms, something like that. So anyway, we're, we're gonna get this load finished up. Uh, should be able to get this done in the next 20 minutes, if that. Get the paperwork and get out of here. Um, and then we just gotta get up to Bridgewater, Massachusetts. I'm probably gonna go right to Probably right back to the Loves. It's either the Loves or Pilot over in um, Sturbridge. But we'll figure that out in a little while. All right, here we go. Not the greatest, but I had to do that for the back because there's, <laughs> it's just too short. It should be fine. Shouldn't have any problems with it. I think she looks pretty good. All right, so we're officially done. I'm not super stoked about the uh, tarp job here, but it is what it is. It's all covered up. At least I won't have to do much with folding up the uh, the second tarp. Um, and it's super light. Total of 15,000 pounds. 15,000... Uh, 15,801 pounds. So, <laughs> no problem. I was gonna throw more more straps. I only threw four straps. In 700 feet, which is more than on, more than enough. Avenue, uh, I kind of wanted to throw feet. more just for the simple fact of it, of its height. I would I would have liked to throw thrown one more, but there was four major beams at the bottom, and I didn't. I didn't want to end up crushing the box. Not that I couldn't have put one on. Oh. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I could have put one on, you know, somewhat. Just taut. But. She's good, she's nice and secure, she ain't going nowhere. So, anyway, uh, 385 miles, I plan on being there 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. 
I'm either going to sleep at the Loves again or I'm going to sleep at, um, I'm going to work my way over to, whatchamacallit, haven't, haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, but we'll know now. Alright, we are done. Um, we've actually been done for about two hours now. I just forgot to, uh, to end the video. You are out of hours of service driving time. We actually did a pretty good day today. We had 517 miles. Um, I'm really not sure how much further we have. This will only take a minute for this to load up. We are... I didn't really want to come here. Um... Mostly because it's a paid parking lot, but we're at the uh, the pride pride truck stop and um, Chicopee, Massachusetts, which is right at the top of Proceed to the I-291 I don't know why that just cut out like that Um it's twelve dollars a park here. For every dollar you spend in the store, you get a percentage off of uh, the parking lot cost or whatever. Um, I was gonna stop at the Loves. Proceed to the highlighted route. But that would have stopped me too early. When I got here, I still had another 40 minutes left to drive. But I didn't want to go anywhere else. Uh, it was already 7.30 when I got here, I think. Uh, 7, 7.20. Um, so I knew if I went to the Pilot and Sturbridge, that place was going to be jam-packed. And if I went to any of them rest areas along the way, I wouldn't have been able to get a spot or I would have been sitting there for two hours waiting for the best position I can get myself in to make a spot. Um, that's the main reason why I came to this location because I know... I don't care what time of day it is. You can pretty much get a parking spot here. Um, I don't know if it's because it's not a major chain or because it's uh, paid parking. It's more like more more likely to be because it's not a major chain. Um, but every time I've come here, there's always been a parking spot. It might be that last parking. Might be a couple parking spots all the way in the back row, but there's always a parking spot here. Anyway, so we're here, uh, yeah, it's Chicopee, Massachusetts, top of 291, it's, uh, right at the, right off the ramp, exit, um, exit 6, off of 90, um, and tomorrow we have 104 miles to go. So I and I want to be over there by eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Um, that's figuring about two hours, so I gotta leave here by six. I'd like to get out the door by five thirty. Um, we'll see what happens though. But that's all I got for tonight. I have no load set up for tomorrow. I've been looking all day yesterday, all day today. Nothing's popped up. We're going to wait it out for quite a while tomorrow, probably tomorrow afternoon. Um, if I can't find anything for tomorrow or Friday bringing me home or heading towards Ohio, Illinois, something like that, we'll probably end up deadheading home tomorrow night. Uh, take a three day off and then grab, grab something Monday and just start hammering it out. Keep on going. Um, 
I just gotta figure, find find a good stomping area. Uh, it's probably gonna be Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, um, Missouri, Arkansas, not Arkansas, Oklahoma. Um, maybe even over to Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky. You know, in that general Midwest area. Um, I don't know. This this week is, is kind of pissing me off. And I think uh, it all started with going down to South Carolina. I think that was a, a mistake. But it is what it is. Uh... And we'll, we'll figure it out. We always do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. We'll see you tomorrow.